Ready. Okay, so I tried to film this last night, but I picked the wrong foundation color and it just kind of threw everything off and then put me like in a grumpy mood. So it is early this morning. I've skipped my workout this morning to film for you guys, okay? But I'm gonna work out later today. So I was opening a couple of packages last night. I know, I know, I'm supposed to unbox with you guys, but if I don't kind of unbox a little bit here and there, then shit just gets out of control. So um, there was only like two or three things that I unboxed mainly because I just wanted to play with them. So the main thing was the Anastasia Subculture Palette. I really wanted to play with this thing because apparently it is kind of the sister to the Modern Renaissance Palette. And I love the Modern Renaissance Palette, so I wanted to give this guy a go. So when I was messing with this last night, I noticed that there was a lot of fallout in the shadows, but then I researched and realized that these are softly packed shadows. So there is going to be a little bit more fallout and you don't need to put a lot of pressure on to the shadow to get pigmentation. So I'll just show you guys really quickly. I'm going to just pick up a little bit of access. I dunked my brush in there like one time. They're super pigmented. So because there is a little bit of fallout, if you're kind of like new to makeup or you just want to get crazy when you do your eyeshadow, I would recommend maybe doing your eyeshadow first and then doing your foundation. I just can't do my makeup that way. Like I have tried and I can't do it. Okay, I gotta do my face first and then the eyes. That's just, that's how my brain works. So we're gonna dunk into the subculture palette in a minute. Um, but first, let's do foundation. Actually, we need to prep our face. What am I talking about? For my primer, no, no. So for my moisturizer, I'm going to use this guy from Smashbox. This is their Photo Finish Primerizer Primer Plus Moisturizer in one. It's got a little bit of hyaluronic acid in it. I'm going to use this guy as, <coughs> but I'm just going to use this guy as my moisturizer and I'm going to put a primer on as well because I crazy like that. And then for my primer, I'm going to use the No Pore Blem Primer. Smooth and pore covering top secret for perfect makeup. I like top secret things. We're going to put this like in our heavy pore area. I really like to get it in there. So this guy is only going on these kind of cheek areas. So for foundation today, I'm going to use the new CoverGirl Healthy Elixir Foundation with Vitamins. This is a lightweight, full coverage foundation, um, and I'm going to use it in the shade Medium Break. And I'm going to use it in the shade. I'm going to use it in the shade Medium Beige, which is 742. And I'm just going to put this on a beauty blender and start working this into the skin. So this is just one layer of the foundation. It is a full coverage foundation, but with me, usually, even if it is like a full coverage foundation, I'll go in and add like a little more to like my cheek areas. This is just one layer of foundation. My skin looks really healthy. I didn't put any lip shit on today. What is wrong with me? <laughs> so right off the bat, just super impressed with the coverage and the feel of it. Like I said, it feels really light on the skin and it has like a nice healthy look to it. I know it's called healthy elixir. It's, it doesn't have like a dewy finish. It doesn't have like a matte finish. It just has like a look good finish, you know? <laughs> All right, I'm going to quickly do these brows off camera so that we can save time. So you know how it goes before and after. Out here debating on what I want to do. I kind of want to do like a green look because there's like three shades of green in here, four maybe. I think I'm gonna go into voiceover mode now because it's just easier for me to concentrate. Sometimes I get like a little off track and then kind of mess up when I'm like talking to you guys. So we're gonna throw it into voiceover mode while I do my eyeshadow and then probably come back. Maybe. Starting the look, we're gonna start with All Star, and I'm gonna use really light pressure. I'm talking about one dunk kind of situation and a really light hand to help these shadows blend. Usually I wanna dunk my shadow in like 
not my shadow, my brush, like two, three, four times. No, you need like one dunk. And I'm just going back and forth. I always like to use a little bit of shadow and light pressure just in general, but I feel like you need to do it with this palette if you want it to work for you. Not saying that you need to do anything like special for it. I just find that the shadows can get a little out of control. So I'm using All Star just on the outer corner of my lid with a small blending brush. And I'm just taking a little bit of shadow at a time and focusing it on that outer corner I'm not trying to bring this too far in so as you can see I probably dunked back in three times now and I mean one baby dunk don't get crazy Moving on, we're gonna go into the shade Edge, which is like this really cool yellow, and we're gonna pack this on to our lid. Again, the amount of product that is on my brush is like one tiny dunk, and you get so much color payoff from it, but as I was editing, I do notice that the two colors don't really wanna blend well together. Like, you'll see that All Star is gonna get a little dark on the outer corner, which is, Mm, kind of a bum because I kind of like that maroony shade that it was. And going back to our first brush with no extra product on it, I'm just using that to help the blend and then a clean brush to blend that upper edge. Just take your time, be patient, and before you know it, boom, shadows are on. For lashes, I'm going to use these guys from House of Lashes. This is their Sephora collection. I believe these are called Everlasting. And then we're gonna touch up a little more with edge on the lid because I feel like once your lashes are on, you can really see the placement of the eyeshadow better or maybe that's just me. And here I'm wondering how All Star has all of a sudden gotten so dark. Hmm. All right, we're gonna conceal brand new shape tape. I use it in light medium most of the time. This is just, I feel like no concealer just even compares to this concealer. I don't know what they do. They sprinkle a little magic in here. It's like little fairies. If you have not tried Shave Tape, you're missing out. I'm telling ya. And after we're blended, you know I'm setting with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. I shouldn't even have to tell you this. I probably don't have to tell you this. <laughs> so I have weaned myself off of setting my face with the MAC Studio Fix Powder and I have moved on to setting my face with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder. I use it in the shade 2 and it doesn't really add like coverage to the face like the Studio Fix Powder does but I feel like since my skin has been doing better, like not breaking out as much and not having like a lot of dark spots to cover that I can get away without wearing the Studio Fix powder. So I just use this guy to kind of set everything and keep it in place. And I'm pushing everything into the skin so to not like disturb the foundation underneath. So I'm never going to use the KKW sticks here on my channel. Remember last time I was like, oh, I want to do it and then I set my face and I forgot and I was like, next time. Well, I used it off camera the other day and I hated it. That contour stick, that's a no for me. That is a no for me. Kim, do better. So we're gonna powder contour today. I'm gonna use the Natasha Denona Sculpting Glow, and we're gonna use the middle shade, obviously, because that's the only shade we got to work with. <laughs> and I'm gonna use this Morphe brush. It's a 501 brush, and we're just going to contour the cheeks. For blush, I'm going to use this guy from Dose of Colors. This is from their new Meant For You, Mint For You collection, and this is in the color Amazement. Get those apples popping. We weren't recording, um, but I thought the lip was a little too pink, so I put on top of it a little bit of the Anastasia. These are the new matte lipsticks. This is in the shade Buff. I'll do a little more. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm sorry I didn't realize I wasn't recording, but I just did the same two colors on the lower lash line and added Glow Getter from my Nicole Glow Kit, 
which is out of stock forever. <sighs> I don't really know the last time I wore a yellow eyeshadow, but I like it. So that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I'm going to be so busy next week, so I'm going to try to pre-film some videos and get that shit on lock. So I'll be back soon, okay? Soon. Okay.